So, how to make a fretless bass the easy way. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's cheap, it's fast, and you can do it in about an hour of effort. So the first thing you want to do is mosey on down to the flea market and pick up the crappiest, cheapest, fretted electric instrument you can find. So I found a guitar for 20 bucks. The neck was set wrong, but that doesn't really matter. A lot of the problems you'll find with normal instruments aren't really relevant anymore when you have a fretless bass. This is a guitar, so it's going to be a short scale bass. So the first step is to take off the strings, flip the guitar over, and unbolt the neck. You can also throw away the nut at this point. Alright, the next step is to pull off the frets. If you have a heat gun, that can come in handy to loosen up the glue holding the frets in, but that's not absolutely required. To get the frets out, you need some side pullers, which you can probably find from your local dentist. And there's no real trick here, you just need to yank the frets until they come out. If your fretboard wood gets kind of messed up, it's probably not a bad idea to sand it down before the next step. Now this is where I kind of screwed up. Uh, what you want to do is get some good wood filler and fill up those frets, but I didn't really know what to use, so I ended up using this filler that was really, really old, and it was more like clay than wood filler. So that did not come out well when it dried, and it kind of just looked like someone threw baking dough in my guitar. If you only have wood filler like this, uh, you can maybe add paint thinner to it and it'll kind of thin it out. Luckily for me, I found another old can that was a lot more liquidy. They oftentimes separate out, so you want to stir it up until it has the consistency of peanut butter. So once it's homogenized, uh, it's time to start putting it in your frets. You want to make absolutely sure that your frets get completely filled up because you don't want any bubbles or holes left in it. Alright, so I realized it's going to be way easier if I just do the voiceover live, so from now on, you're getting the real deal live voiceover. So, we got the uh, guitar neck all covered in peanut butter, uh, and I also realized I can just put on a, a glove and do this by hand. It's way easier than using this uh, spatula thing I was using, and it's ridiculous. So, take your finger. You want to make sure that all of the frets uh, and bumps and little gross little nuggets are covered up because um, we're going to scrape this all off in a little bit and then we're going to be sanding it down and then get it, you really want to get it packed down into the frets when you're first uh, laying it because you want it to actually be filling it not just covering the surface layer alright so now the next step uh, after it's been drying for like a bit I'll wait for it to be a little bit matte I think at least that's what the instructions said take a towel you want to come in and uh, just kind of like wipe it down. Alright, this looks like trash and I'm pretty sure this is not how you're supposed to do it at all. But uh, I think it's good enough. You want to wait for a while and let it dry and then we're going to sand it off. So that's probably going to take overnight. I'm just going to come back and deal with this problem later. So, uh, this is dry. Sort of. Looks good. Uh, now, uh, this is the part where you're going to sand, and I'd highly recommend using a sanding block if you have one, but if you don't, I have a super advanced pro tip, sandpaper, box, we're good to go. Alright, pro tip number 10, if you don't have any sandpaper more than 100 grit, uh, it doesn't matter, just take, use the same sandpaper for like an hour until it does literally nothing and then just keep using it and it's the same as using really high grit sandpaper. Don't sand the sides like I did. You can tell when you're done if you can take your finger and put it right here and run it all the way down to the end and it feels perfectly flat. And that's pretty much it, now you can just stick your neck right back on. Like I said, this guitar had an issue with the neck being set wrong so I just shimmed it with a piece of plastic and called it good. And the very last step that I didn't actually show in this video is you need to make a nut, but that's just literally any piece of wood that you can cut in any shape depending on how many strings you're putting on. Now you want to just get the biggest strings that you can that'll fit on this. Uh, I decided to use strings off of my bass, just old strings, uh, and I learned that the two middle strings were the ones that fit the best. So just shove it through, set it up, and you're all good to go. So I hope you found this video entertaining, I realize it was pretty low effort. Uh, but if you're a fan of low effort videos, uh, tutorials, random shit about music, uh, feel free to check out my channel. I also have a video on how to make a DIY guitar pedal box. Uh, I have a very informative video on how to play a B7 chord. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe if you like this channel, and I'll see you in the next one.